Questioner, please. Could you identify yourself, please? And ask you. I have no question, but a request. A request only to Dr. Jesus what he is doing in this world to be translate one share with Albert Rishad and invite everybody to come in speaker corner. Nikhil Kar Khan Kaun say Dr. Iqbal says modern and low lobby Kashmiris in Kashmir is translated in Urdu. Nikhil Kar Khan Kaun say Sir, could you ask your question? Adha Kar Rasme Shabiri Ke Fakre Khan Kai Hai Fakar Anzu Wo Dil Giri Aap Sab Ka Kaam Hai Nikhil Jai Garu Se Barku Ko Masjidu Ko Ya Ko Yek Suhaid Milta Hai Usko Yusti Ki Shaitanin Se Aga Kare Please Rasa Jin Nikhil Jai Uh, I'm, I'm not an Urdu Khan, but uh, so few words I understood was that instead of remaining in the monkeries and in, the, in your cloisters, you know, saying tasbih and sitting down doing nothing, so get out and do some work. That is what is. In, a, in essence, that's the message. No. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, Sheikh Ahmed. Um, it's all right, us saying, right, to stop um, Salman Rushdie for what he's done to the brothers and sisters. But don't you think he's done the damage already to us? Don't you think what he's done already is, far, is, is very bad already? So don't you think that if we did see him, her natural reaction would be to do something to him? Well, don't you think so? For what he's d done to us? Uh, you are a British, yeah? Yeah. Well, your feelings are my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> so we have the next question, please. Would you identify yourself, please, sir? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. After all the, all the things that... Um, that Salman Rushdie did, said, and would he, would he be allowed back into Islam? Would he be allowed to accept Islam again? You see, accepting Islam, this is in the hands of God, whether Allah accepts. If you commit murder, rape, whatever, you commit a crime. Now, if you make istighfar, repentance, sincerely to Allah, Allah can forgive you. But, in the house of Islam, the Sharia takes its course. Allah can forgive, but the Sharia won't forgive. You commit a murder, deliberate murder, you deserve to die. Life for life. But in the hereafter, your recommendation is there. Allah says, all right, okay, you know, you sincerely repented, I forgive you. That's his prerogative. But the Sharia has no right. The Sharia won't allow you to forgive if you do a crime. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Um, my name is Sayyid Akrimani and I'm a British Muslim and this question is to you Brother Didar. You mentioned in your course of speech the Islamic punishment for adulterers and slanderers but you haven't mentioned the um, punishment which says in the Quran for the blasphemy that Rushdi committed. And as a Muslim, and as far as my knowledge goes of the Quran, your approach to Rushdi affair is in contradiction of Holy Quran. My second question is. Now that was a statement. My second question is. That was not a question. That was a statement you made. What's do you agree question? with this? What? Do you agree with my statement? What statement did you make? What did you say? In Quran, the punishment for blasphemy against the Prophet of Allah is quite different. It's either by death or by stoning or cutting arms and legs. And that's what it says in Quran. Right, I'll answer you, my sister. We were dealing with the subject, how Rushdie fooled the West. Now, this thing I was telling you is so vast that this one person or one time you can't deal with the everything. 
I have dealt with this problem. Now this will be the third tape. Third tape on the same problem. Should Rushdie die? The Islamic verdict. Should he? Should that? That's the question. But Now you have to get the tape. Can you tell us? Because no, we all no, here. No, no. This is another lecture. You want me to deliver another lecture? No, just say. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. We started here at half past two. It's half past four now. This will take another two hours. You want me to expound to you for two? Hours? Look, you no. can't. You can't just make statements. You have to get this. Tape. I'm only asking you if you agree with the Quranic punishment. I you agree don't. what the Quran says, and here we deal with it in total, two hours. So you agree with Then the Quranic punishment? I, how, as a Muslim, how can you disagree? That, that's all I, I, I want. I think. I think that. I, Then, okay. then further, again, should Rushdie die? Yes. The Judeo-Christian verdict. That's a different subject. Thank Now, at that subject, he said, "Look, what about Islam?" I said, "Look." When I was talking about Islam, he said, "What about?" I said, "Look, wait a minute. You see, there are people who can make a hundred different statements in one fifteen minutes. Unfortunately, I can't do that. You see, if I touch something, I have to ex explain to you the whole situation. So, the Islamic verdict, the Judeo-Christian verdict." And now you will see in the future how he fooled the West. And now each and every one is separate, independent, but is doing a certain job. I think that also, Sheikh, I think, excuse me, sister. I think that Sheikh Dad has been very patient in answering a question that is not related to the topic. And brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to ask you to please remain and contain your your questions to the topic. It is it is unfair to ask a question on another topic which will require. Perhaps a couple hours of explanation. Could we have the next question, please? Assalamualaikum. My name is Tawasta Mehmed, um, and I'm a Muslim Pakistani. Um, I want to ask you: Is the fatwa passed by Ayatollah Khomeini is that justified from an Islamic point of view? I don't think you understand Without English, my child. Look, we have been talking about how Rushdie fooled the West. Where does Khomeini fit in? This is the topic. The topic. Look, if you came with the understanding, I don't know whether you understood a challenge to the giants of the British literary world. You know, can you stomach the best of Rushdie? There was no Khomeini, no Quran, nothing. We're not bringing it. The Quran says this, the Hadith says this, nothing. We are talking about how he fooled the West. And what you can do now is to educate the British what he has done to them. Let them do the job, then they will do it for you. Could you have the next question, please? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Would you identify yourself, please? My name is Hajj, and I would like to ask a question to uh, Sheikh Ahmed Didad. He says that uh, Rasti has blasphemed all the human kind, all human being, and even if he didn't spare the queen. We know, as he says in his book, he has used some words for our Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and we know that this Prophet is even greater than the Queen, or whoever done is that is greater than the Queen. The Prophet is greater than you. I would like to know, Mr. Yeah, uh, Mr. Ahmed Didad, as a Muslim, as a Muslim, because something go went on. And some books have been banned. I would like to know, as a Muslim, our point of view: what should we carry on actually to do? Because many question, the the real question that is to be asked is whether Salman Rushdie is a Muslim or he's not a Muslim. 